In this next quick demonstration, we'll be talking about Le Chatelier's principle and how changing volume and thus changing pressure also creates a disturbance in a system that's in equilibrium. We will be using some seltzer water, which has dissolved carbon dioxide in it. So if I just uncap the seltzer, you can see that it will bubble, releasing that dissolved carbon dioxide. So I'll just pour some out and observe the fizzing, that dissolved carbon dioxide coming out in the gaseous phase. Now to help us uh, watch this, observe it a little bit, I'm going to add some bromocresol green indicator and give us an idea of where the pH is in this solution. So again, I can see a little bit of bubbling. Give it a stir. And just to review where we are in the color chart of bromocresol green, we're a little bit acidic, aren't we? The pH of about 4 or so. And we can see yellows are a little more acidic, all the way up to darker blues. So bromocresol green, definitely in a pH for acid color chart. So anywhere from 3.8 to 5.2. But let's take that back off, just give it some color so we can see it's a little bit acidic. I'm going to draw up some of my seltzer water into a um, syringe, oh, approximately 10 mils. The volume isn't critical. So I have drawn some up into a syringe, and I will now remove the beaker. And I'm going to cap the syringe. All right, so now just some observations. Notice that I am definitely seeing evidence of bubbles. So I can see the CO2 coming out. What I'm going to do, and hopefully this comes out all right on the video, I'm going to draw out the syringe. I'm going to increase volume. Increasing volume does what for pressure? That's right, it drops the pressure. Larger container, less pressure. Let's observe. Increasing volume. Oh, look at those bubbles coming out more and more and more, increasing the volume as I'm pulling out on the syringe definitely is causing more and more bubbles to come out. Let me push back in on the syringe, increasing pressure as I do, so much so that I could push way down hard. The bubbles are gone. No bubbling under high pressure. Let's drop the pressure. The system will counteract. Look at all those bubbles reappearing again. More and more and more bubbles coming out as I can draw up. It's very difficult to do. Draw out the syringe and push back in. The bubbles disappear. Le Chatelier's principle. Let's discuss it.